Monday of the last week of rehearsal, and today we're focusing on uh, the technical aspects of Macbeth. How how's it been, Em? How's it been? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's good to go over like the technical elements again, just to kind of smooth things out. So that when we do a run on Saturday, all those tech elements will be in place. Um, and just a technical rehearsal, just to remind everyone what that involves. A technical rehearsal is not for the actors, it is for the production team. And it's all about the production team uh, being able to understand what needs to be put in place, light, sound, set, everything that technical uh, in a show. But for us, for this, uh, for this show, our, our tech rehearsal um, has been working with our lovely production manager, Pip, and making sure all the production technical elements are in place with him uh, doing a great, great job. But because in the show, the actors do uh, the sound cues and the set changes, uh, there is a lot of technical things that we need to learn ourselves as the performance. What do you find, uh, Sam, the most? Because there is a lot, you know, you're doing, you're all of you are doing so much, you know, you, as, as Josh was saying, you're, you're cueing the sound, you're operating the sound, you've got costume changes live, yeah. no one's off stage from the beginning to the end, um, and you're delivering this sort of major play. What, what's the most challenging, what do you find the most challenging aspect of all that? Well, there's a, there's a lot of things you have to focus on. Your mind has to do with a lot of things in... Uh, both delivering the story, so you are the actor, and then on the inside of the actor, you are also being a technician. You are also going, okay, so I need to be prepared for this cue to be played, I need to be prepared, prepared for this cue, and then, I mean, as all things do, they go wrong, and it's not going wrong in terms of the story, but going wrong in terms of the technicality of things. And if the technicalities go wrong, then you as the actor have to find a way of improvising around those mistakes, and it is like your brain is in so many different worlds, so many different places, that is a difficult thing. I, I mean, I, do you guys agree that it's, our brains are almost everywhere, but mm. we have to maintain a focus. We have to still maintain the story. No matter what happens, maintaining the story is vital. It sort of feels like you're uh, being a, a drummer that's doing cross rhythms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you, yeah, you, like Can you, you say. what cross rhythms are? So cross rhythms, uh, in, in music you have time signatures uh, and you can fit different time signatures with each other. So for example, you have a drummer that say on one part of the drum kit will be doing a certain time signature, a certain rhythm, and on another drum kit, uh, another part of the drum kit will be doing another rhythm. Something that I can't do, I'm not a drummer, but uh, yeah, cross rhythm drummers can. That's not a thing, cross rhythm drummers. It is now. Cut that, cut that pit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Emma, has it been sort of been coming into a production that already existed? Because um, Josh and Samata have performed this before, they've played different roles. How's it been for you coming into something that already exists? Um, yeah, I think it's been challenging at times um, because I've sort of had to kind of replicate the blocking and there hasn't been much time um, for exploration of, of character. And in an ideal world, like, we'd have more time to do that. Um, but, I mean, we still have time left. We have Saturday and we have, yes, yeah, so we have the whole day on Saturday and also Friday um, to, to really work on those elements and infuse the performance with intention. Let's start the infusion. Cool. Infusion.